Well, I hope it was worth it. So after a lot of marketplace transactions, after a lot of transferring money out of PayPal, we have this guy. <laughs> yep, we got Honus Wagner, ladies and gentlemen. He is on the squad. The rarest card in MLB The Show 19. Not only is he the rarest card in MLB The Show 19, he's the rarest baseball card in real life. And uh, probably the rarest individual card of any sort of card collecting or trading card thing in real life ever. His card sold for what, like 3.1 million or something like that? A fully pristine one somewhere. It could go for like 150 mil or something like that. I don't know what makes Wagner so special, but either way, he's on my team. <laughs> so this guy is a shortstop and absolutely looks like one of the best cards in the game. 123, 125 contact, 88, 89 power with 125 vision. He's got that 99 bunting. His fielding is over 90, so that means he will have the diamond badge. His arm strength isn't as good as maybe creative player or, uh, you know, Cal Ripken Jr. It's only at 90, but the 96 speed with the 98 stealing, like this guy is truly a five tool player. It sucks that he's not a switch hitter. He's only a righty. So creative player does have an edge over him on that one. But all the secondary positions that this guy has, you can put him anywhere in the outfield. You can put him at the corners if you need him to. For some reason, he doesn't have second base as a secondary position. I'm just saying, if you can play all five of those other positions and you're a shortstop, I have a feeling you might be able to hold your own at second base that's just a guess for me i don't know maybe they didn't want to make him too op so i spent uh well over 1.5 million stubs to get this card that's how much he's worth in mlb the show he's pretty much worth more than willie mays especially at this point this guy is not a card that you're gonna see a lot of people have on their squads i'm just gonna be real with you especially if you're no money spent as far as the collections for him rookie was relatively easy breakout was a little bit more difficult than rookie but still relatively easy especially if you're going through with some team affinities there's a lot of breakout cards and rookie cards in there all-star the same way there's a lot of all-star cards um, but a lot of these you might have to buy on the market and even if the ones aren't available on the market you're gonna have to probably put some stubs into buying players if you want to finish all the exchanges to pretty much knock out all those team affinities veteran was really easy I was pretty much done with that before this program even came out or this collection even came out you have the hardware ones once again i was pretty close to completing this anyway you have the postseason one which took me a little bit just because i had to get a couple team affinities done and then i had to get some on the market and then of course the longest one was the signature series 60 signature series this is where most of your stubs are going to go I'm, i put over 1.5 million stubs just into the signature series collection so this card better hit nothing but home runs or I'm gonna be pissed. I have no idea what to expect. All I know is that he is going to be hitting in the leadoff spot for me. We're gonna move Kenny Lofton down to the two hole. And uh, I just hope that he turns up in his debut and does something memorable. So here we go, guys. Honus Wagner. Let's see what he's got. Okay, well, let's see what we got. I, I don't, should I even say that guy's name? I have no idea. We gotta face Bob Gibson. He's rocking Omar at shortstop. Okay, so he's got a pretty good squad. He's got his creative player at second base. I don't know if that's created or if he went shortstop to second base or whatever, but we got Adam Wainwright. I like him. This is the same matchup that it was for me and Kevin in our first game of our bet. Adam Wainwright versus Bob Gibson. I hit Adam Wainwright pretty well. Kevin didn't really do too well against Bob Gibson. I'm hoping it's the other way around this time. Whoop. That's a ground ball. That a baby, Roberto. What is this guy's jerseys, dude? He looks like a clown. Oh my god, that ball was hit so hard. Good job, Lou. Whoop, check swing. There we go. Back to back. Ground balls to the right side. All three of those outs were ground balls to the wide, right side. Now it is time. Wagner, 5'11", 200 pounds. An absolute tank of a player. I have not faced Bob Gibson yet. I have no clue what to expect with this card. So, okay, Bob Gibson, he throws pretty hard. I'm gonna take first pitch. Good sinker. I'm not gonna do much against that pitch. Come on, Honus. This is two million stubs right here at the plate. And he does the same thing as everybody else. Well, that was fun. Good okay contact on a squared up swing. Yeah. All right, dude, so far I'm not loving facing Bob Gibson today. 
Oh my god, what am I doing, bro? I'm swinging out a high and in sinker on the first pitch, really? I'm just handing him out. I don't know why I even decided to throw him a changeup. I had him late on back to back sinkers, so I changed up the pitch. Like, what am I thinking? <laughs> All right, I don't know what he's looking for, but I'll take the strikeout. My goodness. Double play. Come on, double play. We got this. 78 speed. Come on, Hornsby. Wait, that's not Hornsby. That's Wagner. I don't know <laughs> where Hornsby came from. All these old dudes start to blend together. Dude, I am just swinging it. Okay, we got bailed out. Either I should be out right there. I keep. I gotta stop swinging at this trash. Swinging at a low and away or whatever change up. And I'm just pretty much once again handing him out. So we just got lucky that Frank fielded that bad. Get over his head. Let's go. Get to second there. Nice. Out of boy Roberto. He is afraid to pitch Joey Gallo, and I can't say I blame him. This Joey Gallo is, he instills a lot of fear in pitchers' faces. Nope, I didn't go. Oh my god, I thought I swung too. All right, bases loaded for good old Pudge. Oh my god, it's 3-1 to Pudge now. I should just take with the bases loaded. Yeah, I was going to pop that up anyway. All right, 3-2. We're getting them sweaty. And that is a hanger. That's a line drive. We should be able to score on that, though. 64 speed. Stay at second base. All right. We're on the board early. George Brent. Oh, my God. That ball is carrying. It's going to stay in the yard, isn't it? I am shocked that that went out. I don't know how Ricky didn't bring that back. Okay, Mr. Wagner. You got a fastball right over the middle that apparently we didn't hit well enough in the first at-bat, so... Why does he keep pausing whenever Wagner comes to the plate? I'm really happy I didn't get a full swing on that. That would have been a terrible at-bat with Wagner. All right, 1-0. There we go. Oh, is that a bomb? I think that's a bomb. Let's go, Wagner. Okay. I'm seeing the results now. That's a 2 million stub swing right there. Good night. What in the absolute hell just happened? George Brett? Wagner can take a hike. Oh, Willie, get out, ball. Get out, ball. Willie! Yes, let's go. Another home run, dude. The offense is clicking off Bob Gibson. I don't know if it's just my opponent, but this Bob Gibson is... He's not that difficult to hit. It's kind of disappointing because I have him in my rotation right now. And I'm, I'm leaning towards maybe taking him out if it's going to be this easy to hit. That might fall for Lou Gehrig. They were playing him deep, of course. That's a base hit. That's going to be another base hit. This outfield is so deep that everything is falling. Another hit. Yeah, Bob Gibson low-key is trash. I am destroying everything. Yeah, he got the hook pretty early. He didn't bring in somebody much better, though. Pudge, 64 speed. Is that Tony? Oh, that's Ricky. I'm going. I'm going. I don't care what happens. I'm, I'm making the effort. And we're there. Let's go. Look at the speed. Look at the wheels from Lou Gehrig. Frank Thomas is thrown out on that play. That's ball four to George Brett. We've got the pitcher up. Adam Wainwright. Just stay out of the double play, and then we can get Honus Wagner an opportunity. Yo, if that stayed fair. No, not a double play. That is the work. Honus Wagner almost had an opportunity with the bases loaded, but no, Adam Wainwright just had to end the inning. Oh, that's a knock. Thanks, Ricky. Okay, back-to-back -back hits. This is not how I wanted to start the fourth inning. We're up by like seven, so we've got some room to work with, but I also don't want to let him start to come back. Stealing, doing the double steal. Oh, come on, catch the ball and step on first. Catch the ball and step on first, come on. Oh my God, why did he take so long, dude? That's not awareness. There we go, another pop-up. That should, shouldn't that technically be an infield fly or is that not high enough? Oh, George Brett tried it again. Oh, we can get him. 
He has 99 speed, but we got that ball pretty early. No. Mm, Kenny Lofton hit the gym. Get some arms. Nice pitch. Let's go. I mean, that wasn't a really good pitch, but we got him to strike out, so it was good enough. All right. Uh, the Miracle Man, Honus, Honus, Wagner. One for two with a bomb. Looking for something again here. 2-0. and oh. Fernando Rodney up on the mound. 3-0. Come on, man. Give me something to hit. I don't care about... Actually, I kind of would like to see him on base. I want to see what the speed's all about. I'm going to take that. If I get a good pitch to hit, I'm swinging, but I might... I'm going to be hesitant here. No, I, would, I checked my swing. There's no way. Wainwright has 57 pitches into the sixth inning right now. He's throwing a very, very solid game. Dude, I think that is literally the first ground ball that Honus Wagner has actually been able to field. Every single one has been, like, out of his range. I've tried to dive for it, and it's just too far away. That's the first time I've seen him even pick up the ball this game. He did okay. Having that diamond defense is such a big deal for that card because I'll be 100% honest with you guys, if he didn't have diamond defense, if it was, say, like, 89, I would still say my created player is a better card than that. But since he's got the diamond defense and he gets the diamond animations, that is the biggest key right there. So a lot of you guys are probably asking what I'm going to do with my created player. I think what I'm going to do right now is if I continue to use this Wagner card and I really like him, I'm probably going to move my creative player to catcher for the time being. So I'm probably going to go ahead and create a new one and then try to get the 89 overall. I can use all the same equipment and everything. There's no difference there. But I think that's most likely what I'm going to do because I like Pudge. But, you know, Pudge, it's a card that I'm not that consistent with. Sometimes I hit the ball really well and other times I couldn't hit water if I fell out of a boat So I don't know. I think I'm gonna put my creative player at catcher for a little bit give him a go there um, Hopefully rank him up to a diamond relatively quickly or an 89 diamond I should say and uh, yeah, Maybe see if he can provide some value behind the dish. I don't know There you go George Brett base hit up the middle is Wainwright gonna be is Wainwright on deck Or is he up next? I don't even remember. I think he is yeah, it's Wainwright. Come on, no double plays this time, Adam. Okay, it's not a double play. So we do get an opportunity with Wagner here. I really wish I wasn't facing Zach Britton. I hate this card. And I am still salty that I got that check swing in that, or I didn't get the check swing in the last at bat because I didn't swing it barely at all and I got a freaking full swing on ball four and I would have been on base. But here we go 1 0. We're up early in the count. What is up with Honus Wagner's check swings? They either... I don't get it. Come on, man. I popped that one up. Dude. That was actually a really close play at first base. <laughs> oh, okay, back-to-back -back hits. Oh, my God. This guy just took an amazing pitch on 2-2. Two -two. Beautiful pitch. Let's go, dude. I've been throwing him sinkers inside all day. He can't hit it. Like, he has not proven to me that he can time it up and actually put a good swing on it. That one got over the middle of the plate, so that's a little different, but it's just, I'm not going to throw anything else if you're not going to be able to hit it. All right, so the last inning I really did anything in was the third. We got a five spot in the second and then a two spot in the third, and pretty much since that third inning, it's been nothing but, like, pop-ups and fly balls and literally nothing exciting, so... I don't know how much offense you've seen. I haven't edited the video yet, obviously, but it, you probably haven't seen too much action since the beginning of the game. Please don't tell me I went. Thank you. I'm running. That is going to be... That's a ball, right? I think that's a ball. And we're safe at second, so we're in scoring position. Perfect. Let's go. Let's get some to third base. We're not going to go home. We're not going to get thrown out of home. No need to do that. We got plenty of goons coming up. Pudge, that is definitely enough to get the run home. 87 speed, perfect. Dude, Pudge has been killing sliders today. You'll love to see it. Yeah, I got kind of jammed on that. Uh-oh. Okay, so that's now two outs, and I believe... Who's coming up next? Is it the pitcher spot? Is it Wainwright? Okay, I love Wainwright, and I want him to continue to pitch, but I also really want Wagner to get another at-bat. So I'm going to bring in Harper to pinch hit because Wagner's on deck. So I would just really, really want Harper to get on base or hit a home run or something here. And it's not going to go anywhere. 
Well, it looks like Wagner's not gonna get that fifth at bat. All right, Raleigh, let's get this save. It's not really a save, but let's finish out the game. I'm not, I'm not thrilled about that hit. <laughs> I'll be honest. Ooh, that Raleigh fingers fork ball is sexy. Double play, this should end the game. 88 speed, easy turn. And that's a victory. Well, it looks like player of the game is going to go to George Brett for the three RBIs, two for three with a home run. Honus Wagner with that home run, the solo shot, and I believe the, was it the second or the third? I don't even remember. But this dude stepped up. Adam Wainwright, eight strong innings, struck out uh, six batters. He did allow 10 hits. I actually got out hit in this game. But either way, we're going to take that dub. So Honus Wagner, um, he does have a solid debut. Once again, um, that first at bat, I hit that pitch really well or at least according to the feedback I should have hit it well it was just a little shallow fly ball to left field second at bat was that home run third at bat I got that check swing or I didn't get the check swing which would have been ball four which would have been nice to test out his speed but whatever and then uh, I don't even remember I think I just messed up on the last at bat I did my PCI so I think that's a pretty good debut for Wagner I know it's only one for four but you know I actually feel like I played pretty well with him and then he only got one opportunity in the field and he made it look easy with that diamond in fielding so overall I would say a solid debut from him do I think he's worth towards two million stubs no I don't think any card in this game is worth anything like that I don't think any card is even worth a million stubs personally but we got clickbait anyway guys if you enjoyed the video if you enjoyed the Honus Wagner debut and you want to see more from this card make sure to subscribe to the channel down below uh, Angel in the outfield will be out tomorrow I should have had my player of the month predictions up earlier today uh, if you guys want to see gameplay with the new player of the month card when that comes out I will have gameplay with that on Friday so if you guys want to see all the new content and that will be the show this is the place to be make sure to stick around by subscribing to the channel but anyway guys drop a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video I'll see you in the next one peace